The news from Monday the 14th of October. Agreements on trade and education were signed between the countries of the Western Balkans in Berlin on Monday. The agreements are part of the Berlin process, which marked its 10th anniversary. In a meeting with Balkan leaders, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz said he would be personally committed to the normalization of relations between Kosovo and Serbia. On Tuesday, Albania will open the first cluster of negotiations for membership of the European Union. In the intergovernmental meeting between the Albanian government and the EU held in Luxembourg, fundamental issues such as justice, democratic institutions and public administration will be discussed. The first ship with immigrants from North Africa left today from the port of Lampedusa in Italy, bound for Schengen in the north of Albania. The immigrants will be processed in the reception centres built by Italian authorities in Schengen and Jada. NATO's military mission in Kosovo, K4, told Euronews Albania that it is monitoring the situation on the border between Serbia and Kosovo after reports of a build-up of Serbian troops. K4 states the movement of Serbian troops does not change the security situation in the area. President Bayram Bagai has returned the inspection law to the Assembly for reconsideration. The law relates to businesses and commercial activities and is designed to better improve formality and regularity in the sector. In the legal arguments, the President said the government's law is unclear and was drafted without consulting interest groups and public opinion.